we humans. Too soon do we destroy a forest like this to build a structure in it or farm for profit. What if we don't? What if we maintain the forest with a certain formula which could bring about better for country and community? Meet the analog forest doctor. I'm Ranil Senanayaka. When I was pursuing my degree, I had spent a lot of time in this country traveling around, you know, spending time in the jungle, in the villages, everywhere with a guy called Vicky Atukorale. Uh, when I was, when I came back once, he, I remember we were out there and he asked me, Ranil, you know, you've been to university, you spent all this time there. What have you learnt there? I'm a Sri Lankan who's gone out to the world, who's learnt what the world is all about, and come back, right? And uh, to appreciate what we have. I create the example so that people can follow, and it is not just theory or books, you know. So here it is in real life and this is what we can do. I restore the biomass and the biodiversity of our country. Those two elements are the basic things that keep us sustainable into the future. We need now to look at what we have done and try to restore as much as possible what there was on the hills of this country, restore as much as possible to get back the ecosystem services that sustained our clean water, our clean air and our clean food. We have to do this in the context of modern society. We have to live within a modern society. We have to create things that we can transact with each other. Otherwise, we cannot function as a modern society. So therefore, instead of a forest there, we would like to create something analogous, similar to a forest, doing all the functions, saving all the creatures that used to live in it, but at the same time, giving some sort of input for the people who are tending and looking after it so that there can be a medium of exchange that reflects the work that they do. That is what we do. Look, I have been fighting the idiocy of the bureaucrats for over 35 years, right? But it still doesn't stop me because after me, somebody should carry on. You see this system here, this place here. We host and train people from Latin America, all over, from Cuba to Ecuador to Peru to Chile. They come here, they train, they learn, they go away. I have people from Africa who come here for training, right? From Kenya, from Zimbabwe, from uh, Mali, they, we have people. I have people from Asia who come here, from Australia, from America, from Europe. But up till now, I have not had the forest department or the wildlife department, any of those people come here to ask me a single question as to how useful is this for our country. So, this is the example, as I said. So, I don't have to say a word. Anybody who comes here can walk through, feel it, look at it. Then ask the questions, if they want to ask questions. And that's all this is. It's a place that teaches.